Hello ladies and gents, you know how it is, another day, that's right, another game, uh, and today as you can see on the main screen here, we are going to try uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, oh you are now online, alright, let's get right into it then, so I actually bought this because I am going to play this with friends. Uh, my friends already have this game. This game went on sale and everyone got it and you know and they, they told me hey you should get this too so here I am. And for the cringy name that you just saw, the Ubisoft cringy name, don't blame me too much. That was oh man. That was back in 2000 what 11 2012 that I made that Ubisoft account and I never really bothered changing it and yeah so anyways um what is this menu narration uh, choose whether menu narration should be turned on or off menu narration what does that even mean what menu narration I have no idea what that is all right, let's, yeah, I like subtitles, normal, extra large, large, normal. Uh, let's go with small, let's go with normal, subtitle background. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put it to none, speaker name, yes. Tritanopia, green and red, blue and yellow. Huh? I'll put it disabled. So the enemy is red and the ally is green. Yeah. Interesting. You can change this any time in gameplay. Okay, perfect. Um, oh, this is Gamma. I'm assuming so I can barely see the skull. I can still see the skull. You know what? Let's put it like 45 and then we can just edit it later. Introducing the Ghost Experience. What? The Ghost Experience lets you choose between two different ways to play the PvE version of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Bro, is this Regular, a commercial? The way the game was released and immersive. A new way to experience the is game. Is this an ad? While regular lets you play with weapons and gear of different levels and rarity, uh -huh. immersive mode removes the notion of gear score entirely. Oh. New tactical settings will change the way you play. New HUD settings are also available, allowing you to fine tune your preferred level of information at any point in time. The objective of the Ghost Experience is to give you total freedom of choice. As such, you can switch between immersive and regular mode at will. Of course, you can play in co op with players in different modes, and every setting can be tweaked so that you can create your ultimate ghost experience. That's great. Let me guess as to why they put that there. Now, I saw my friend playing this game uh, last night, and basically, there were gear levels, as you can see. So, each item and gun have like a level on them and I'm gonna assume that people who played Wildlands because it was quote-unquote immersive you can like one hit people because they're human you know they die if they get headshotted I'm assuming in this game all right like I said I'm assuming I haven't played this game I haven't really seen any uh, videos aside from you know the small like two-minute gameplay I saw with my friend playing last night that with level you can't one hit people even though you shoot, you shoot them in the head it's like when ubisoft introduced uh origins i don't know if you guys played origins assassin's Creed origins and the um that was the first time where they introduced like items that have levels so it it, it, it went from like assassin creed ish to like 
Uh, wa um, what's that game? Uh, with Geralt or Rivia? Yes, yeah, as you can see, the issue here is that if, if for the people who played Wildlands and then they suddenly, you know, get introduced to this one, they'd be uh, they'd be pissed because they're like, oh man, they're humans. Like, why can't I one hit them on the head, one tap them on the head? But for me, I don't really mind. I I kind of like having gear score as well. Yeah, let's do this one. Wait, what? Regular gear level weapon inventory on okay. So there's no weapon inventory. What's that mean? Okay. Oh, let's go with normal. Um, weapon slots two. Oh wow. Bandage quantity unlimited. Ooh, risk of injury rare. Stamina consumption regular. This is a lot of settings. Wow. Ammo loss and reload off. Veteran. Ammo loss and reload one. Oh. So you gotta you gotta plan your reloads. Elite. Wow, well, elite doesn't make sense. Why do you only have one weapon? Veteran would be good. Two weapon slots, and your quant your bandage quantity is many, but risk of injury is very high. Look at that, often. And stamina consumption extreme. And loss in real. Wow. Syringe heal injuries darkest. Darkest night. Oh, I know. I kind of want that. Can I turn that on? Custom. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, what's this? Whether or not syringes can heal injuries. Yeah, I'd like. I'd like to heal that. How oh, can get injured in battle? A place to ghost on lane of evolving ghost war and raid. Yeah, I guess these are like the normal parameters. Um. But what, what is this one? This one. This is the one I'm interested in. The darkness of nights is increased, making it more difficult now that we can fight without artificial lighting or night vision goggles. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. Interface full. Medium light. Minimal. I'll, I'll custom this. Uh, yeah, dynamic is fine. Hints. Yeah, I'll, I don't really need hints. Light is okay. Medium full. Loot markers on. Wait, I kind of want loot markers, but. Oh, okay. Light. Light. Off. Oh, they're all off. Holy wow. Well, I like medium. Medium is okay. What is this now? Large, normal, interface preset with most had elements set to normal, small. Good normal. Crosshair dynamic. Always. Uh, dynamic is okay. Hit marker. St 
stamina, never. Dynamic is okay. Always, never. Oh, so basically dynamic means if I'm not, if I don't have it out, then it's not on my screen. Yeah, yeah, I like that, I like that. Dynamic, always, never. Uh, mission reminder. Always, never, dynamic. Detection gauge. Specifics none. All. Show or hide warning messages. Uh, widget. Blah, blah. 3D markers. Loot. Default lights. Default. 3D visual light. Default. Uh, let's put it to small. I don't want it crowding my screen. What is this now? Oh, there's like a background on the thing. Interesting. Well, um, let's put it to light, I guess. Interaction shader. Oh, it's like if you can interact on the object, it shines. Uh, let's switch what the dynamic. Loot notification. The default is okay. Yeah. XP module. Show or hide the XP module dynamic widget is displayed according to the game's context. Never the widget will never be displayed on the screen. Yeah, I want to see my XP. Hud enemies. Wow, this is a lot of... Uh, <laughs> this is a lot of settings. I mean, I, I'll just put like a timestamps on the video. Uh, because this is, yeah, it is a bit much. Dynamic, okay. Uh, Hud marker. Um, oh, it's small. Actually, let's go to normal. Let's just put the light. Allies, dynamic. Normal is fine. Teammates. Normal is fine. Yeah, this is... Yeah, uh, okay. Visual default. Oh, okay. Light, what's this? Oh, you just get a compass. Dynamic always, never. Yeah, it's what they did, dynamic, dynamic is fine. Map size, normal, large, normal. I'll put it to small. Small is never dynamic. You know, let's put it to normal. Uh, okay, see, here's the issue I have with um, Ubisoft minimaps is that they don't allow me to. Uh, change the settings so it's uh, the north always points to north it basically follows my character around so if I if I look to the east um, the, the 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 map will also turn so it's very hard to it's very hard to see where is north or where is you know where is where essentially Okay, that's okay. Detection clouds, enemy icons, ally, undiscovered location. 
Display or hide undiscovered on the tag map. Um, dynamic. Okay, settlement. Let's put it to light, yeah. And for this one, let's go with always, because I want to see where I'm not, I haven't been to yet. Sync shot. Oh, yeah, this is the, the awesome. Uh, Oh, now it's not a, it's like ABC now. It's not a number anymore. Very nice. Okay, let's put it dynamic. Yeah. Holy, this is a lot of settings. Dynamic. Reminder, normal. Go to small. Actually, let's go the normal. Wow. Input background on foot. Vehicles. The dynamic is fine. Now this one we want small. We don't really need. Yep. Toggle interface. What's this now? The widget will never be this interface. What's interface? Yeah. Yeah, I don't need that. Gas filter, gosh. Ooh. Let's go with small. Team widget, yeah, this is fine. PvP, oh, this is PvP. Wow, there's PvP in this game? What the heck? Okay. Tactical teammates? What's this now? Choose how much non player teammates think shot a uh, weapon are uh, visible. Oh. I'll put it off. Teammates sync shot weapons are visible only when used during a sync shot. Yeah, I don't need to see that all the time. A non-player teammate used there. Okay. I see. Good, good, good. Okay, uh, what's this now? Aim assist controller. Oh, controller early. Oh, wow, they have aim assist? Wow. Imagine having aim assist as a controller. Wow. Imagine getting pampered too. Uh, social and bivouac. Whatever this is. Okay. All right, I think I'm good. I, I I apologize for taking a long time to uh, go through all these settings, uh, but uh, I, I like to uh, edit my own settings, um, so I have a more enjoyable experience, you know. Um, and like I said, I'll put the timestamps um, on the video, so uh, you guys can just skip this if you're not, you know, not interested in that one. Anyways, let's go. Sing shot round. Ooh. Mark up to three enemies with G. Okay, G. And trigger all the drones at the same time by holding G. Huh? Each player can take down up to three enemies with each sync shot drone. S huh? Oh, wait. Oh, sync shot drone. So the drone attacks for you. You can use bivouac as fast travel points from the tack map. Okay. 
Accessibility, okay. Dismantling weapons in the loadout gives you parts that are used to craft items. Oh, you can disassemble weapon or dismantling weapon. see makes sense if there's levels in this game so if you're like level 50 and then your weapon is like level 10 like why would you use that shoot enemies with in the legs wait what what was that shoot enemies with the thing on the on the legs scale technology yeah, interesting scale welcome to aurora the incubator of world 2.0 mm -hmm. my name's jay scale and we've been expecting you you sure? Oh, You've wow. been invited here That's to a nice innovate, place. to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. What? Here, away from the rest of the world, You're building we nukes? will build the tools to lead the planet into the future. A completely oh, wow. sustainable economy, a blossoming environment. They have those in China, by the safe way. Safe homes. Security the, for your family. The robot um, and delivery. The community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us. Yeah, but they, they sure will. Because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a rule. Uh oh. Together, we are building two worlds. Uh oh. Wait, what happened? USSCA has mysteriously sunk near the Aurora Archipelago. Operation Greenstone. As the leader of Spec Ops teams with 30, 32 ghosts? That's crazy. That's a lot of ghosts, bro. That is a lot of ghosts. Let me put it into perspective. In Wildlands, there's only like four ghosts. And that was the whole game. Wait, can I edit my character? Ooh, he's looking at me. Oh shit, you can! Oh, I'm a little female, bro. Of course we're gonna go female. Oh, wow. Okay. Character customization. Okay. Ah, uh, this is gonna take me a while again. All right. I like that we all have the races here. Very nice. Well, obviously, I'm gonna go for the most Asian looking. I guess her. Yeah. She looks Chinese. What's this now? I call her. Black, of course. Wait, let's try the other ones. Green. Man, the, the red thing here, the red light is screwing up with my... Uh, my perspe uh, perspection? perspective? Crew cut, mohawk, ponytail. Can I move her face? Short. Uh, of course, it's the military. You can't really have really long hair. Blonde. Blue. Oh my goodness. Blue. Let's go with gray hair. Yes. Oh wow. Scar. Ooh. Ooh what the heck? That's, that's some crazy scar you got, bro. Um. Ooh. Oh, this. Oh, this one looks. Uh, actually, I'm torn between this one and this one. This one, I think, is better. What's that now? Ubisoft Connect. I leveled up. Okay. Start with disappearance. Yes. Oh, look at me. Uh oh. What was that? Uh oh. Yeah, what's that? Oh, shit. What was that? 
Wait, were those drones? Yo, were those drones? Yo. Was that was that drones? <gasps> oh shit. Uh oh. Am I upside down? Am I up oh sh oh no. Oh wow, look at the blood. Uh oh. Yo, they're getting chased. Oh, they're getting chased. Look at that. No. No. Oh, bro. Dang. Oh, they got s They got screwed up by the uh, the drones, bro. Skeltic, huh? All right. It's revenge time. It's revenge time. Oh, I'm still Nomad. So in the very first game, the Wildlands, you're called Nomad. That's your call sign. And you're a ghost. And essentially what a ghost is, is she don't exist. So even if these people die, no one will know. Ooh, gun. I don't know if I can fight all those drones with a small gun, bro. It doesn't even have a silencer on. Breakpoint. Ooh, let's go. Alright. Oh. G to heal injury. Wow. Oh no, don't tell me. I mean, it looks nice as an animation. But if I had to do this animation every time I heal. Man, that's, that's, that's gonna be a bit much. Oh, look at that. Uh, T. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's still the same controls as um, as Wild Lens. I like that. What's B? What's Y? Wait, what's Pro and Camo? Oh wow, yo! Oh, look at me. I'm invis. I'm invisible. Look. Wow, yo. Let's let's look for loot. Is there no loot here? I mean, yeah, it wants me to go there. Airship, air station, Fenbog. Oh, what's this now? Right here. Can I loot this? I want to see what's inside here. Oh, there are loot. Oh wait, I grabbed it. Um. I automatically grabbed it. Nice. I hear people, by the way. Yeah, there's people over there. That is not good. Okay. Okay, so the the control to move my uh my paw. What the hell? Who the hell are these guys? That's right. 
Okay. Oh, so you become you become even harder to detect when you're in the bush. Look at that. Like my screen uh, darkened. Easy. Okay, so you load ammo automatically as well. There's more people over there. You can see. Carry? Oh. You don't have this in the first game. So now you can hide the bodies. Yeah, this is this is more immersive. Right. Let's hide the bodies, bro. The animation takes too long though, so we gotta take that into uh, consideration. What's this? Frag grenade. Okay, got from frag grenade. Perfect. What's this? Throw. Wait, what's this infinite throw? Oh, this is so... Yeah, to get their attention. Alright, let's get these two. I think there's two. I think. Ooh. How'd you know that? We gotta make sure. First dog is just if we bring someone back alive. And what was this shit out of me? Oh, it's gonna be hard because they're talking to each other, that means they can see each other. Compared to the other ones. To the other two over there. I saw a chopper crash like this once in a raft. Nobody walked away. Hey, don't underestimate the ghosts. Huh. huh. That's right. Ha huh is right. See, look at that. The animation is way too long just to carry a body. And even when dropping it, look. See? Credits? Scale credits? Wait, we're using their credits now? Scale credits? Interesting. All right, let's hide a body over here. I think there's more people over there, but the the quest makes me makes me go there, so I am going there instead.
I gotta check out if anyone else survived. Oh, loot. Good old loot. Is it gonna give me a gun? Or like a main weapon? Give me a way Oh, yes! Tab equip. Does it have a silencer? Yes, it does. Very nice. Hmm. Shit. My soldiers. My soldier? Oh, you're like the captain? You good, bro? Damn. That sucks. No way to go. Yeah, that sucks, bro. Hold on, hold on. Is there other loot here? Loot, come on, give me loot. Well, there's a question mark over there. Oh, but that's just like out out of the compound. Airship, air station. Operation Motherland. Cancel. Huh? Wait, there's two, uh... There's a couple of, like, medic pack. Oh, I have to be close so I can see it. Interesting. It didn't show up on my minimap. See what I mean? Like, uh, when I move my mouse, it also moves the uh, the compass of the minimap. So it's like, compared to if it's just stationary, I have to, like, look for where the N is, where the W, E, S is, to figure out, like, you know. And that take one second. Compared to... Compared to if I just, um, if it's stationary, then it takes me 0.2 seconds. Okay, so I gotta go, to, what? Oh, so if you press M, it opens the map, but if you press M, it doesn't close it. It opens this one right here. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, investigate the crash site. Okay, so there's more crash sites there. Oh, oh, oh okay, it's full. It's just the ranges that are full. What's this now? Oh, I think I've been here earlier. It's just uh, the bullet. Okay, let's, let's, uh, there we go. Let's grab the ammo. Oh, plus 50. Oh, that's a lot. Any any ammos here? Man, I can't get used to that. Okay, so it does want me to go through here. Give me more ammo. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So it's an automatic loot. Like that. Das is good. Okay. All right. Let's get. Let's grab more. Uh, more ammo. Yeah. What's this? Grenade. Oh, that's the sign for grenade. So ammo looks like that, and grenade looks like um, like an, an explosion sign. Yeah, it makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Ammo is full, and then, all right, I'm full with everything now. Oh my God, bro, that is annoying. Like, why? <laughs> why is this M? Oh my god. 
bro. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, I see a loot. I see a loot. There's a loot somewhere there. I see it. Yeah, you, you saw what? Are they walking away? Oh, they are. You know it's tutorial because the NPCs, they're not even hiding, they're out in the plain sight. And they're talking so loud. Sign up for this kind of mission or the kind of people who might just survive a shitstorm like ours. Yeah, yeah if you say so. Caps and asses. Yeah, this place is huge. How are we supposed to search all this? Uh huh. Hey, someone told me they test something new out here. Yeah, Did they? Something really big and what really mess. secret. No one could have survived those crashes. Just keep looking. Our job is to find anyone who might have survived. Oh, don't, don't tell me they're gonna walk. It'll take forever. This place is huge. What do you think that crazy hangar was for? Ooh. Ooh okay, they didn't see me. Jesus, those choppers are trashed. They can't really expect us to find anything but body parts. <laughs> nice. I don't have to carry them. Yeah, it kind of sucks that um, I had that issue with the first one too, with like the aiming system. Uh, for example, I aim and go like this, and then I aim. See, I can't see because of the foliage. Is there anything that is... Okay, so there's another loot over there, but there's a... Uh, there's people over there. Where is that? Oh? Huh? Oh, they're inside. Damn it, they're inside the building. I can't see. I'm not seeing anything over here. I guess they're all dead. Oh. Back off, hot shot, my ass. These guys are too easy to kill. Oh, they're not inside. Nothing could have survived that shit. Just keep looking. Our job is to find anyone who might have survived. Ever. This place is huge. This place. They're out here. They what won't last. Crazy long. hangar was for. Hey, someone told me they test something new out here. Yeah, something really big and really secret. Really big and really secret, huh? We don't have enough people to search an area this big. What the hell happened here? It's like this place was abandoned. <laughs> Got him. All right, let's go. Give me another weapon. Ooh, a vest.
Wait. Skills. Customize. Oh wow, look at all these things I unlocked. <laughs> Wait, does this actually... Oh, visual skin. Okay, this is a visual skin. All right. Okay, these are vis these are visual skins. All right, I got I got it. Oh, oh, look at that! Heavy armor, bruh. Uh, well, yeah, I like that. Yeah, look at that. And then let's go with like a, a black, yeah. Uh, can I change the color of this thing? Oh, it's the it's the backpack. Facial paint, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's the backpack. Fix it. All right, let's go with black solid. Yes, sir. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. glass. Oh, I can have glasses. Ooh, hoo, hoo. look at me, bro. I can have headsets. Oh, uh, let's go with earpiece. Yeah. Wait, I'm not done. Wait, what's this identity? Oh, these are emotes. Lol. Okay. Um, what if I change the helmet to like? Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that don't look that don't look as good as I thought it would look. Yeah, no. Ooh. Ooh, I like that one. I used to have a hat like that, and I've worn it for years. All right, I love it. I see them. Oh, you guys gone pay. But well, here's the thing, they knew we were ghosts. So, you know, there's there's something here that uh that tells me that this ain't uh Um, that someone from the higher up is uh, screwing us over, you know? Oh yeah? Stay sharp. Damn, this gun is uh, inaccurate. No, because after I aim the head on the other one, and then I just move my cursor to the right to aim to the other guy. It uh, it didn't move properly. Okay, I think this backpack is a little too big. <laughs> nah, okay, let's let's look for a different backpack. Um, um Ooh, that one's nice.
Black Hawk. Yeah, let's go with this one. Yeah, that other one was a little, uh, yeah, it was a little too big. Alright, what do we got here? There's gotta be somebody. There's gotta be somebody, you say? Hold on, um... Where's the... Keybinds. Keyboard and mouse. Customize control. Uh, I want to change G to my mouse. Because it's hard for me to use a uh, letter G with this keyboard. It's easier for me to use just the mouse, essentially. G, where's G? Menus. Interaction. Uh huh. E B A. Okay. Tab. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Well, it's not there. If it is, I don't see it. Oh, is it a cutscene? Oh, it is a cutscene. Stormcloud 1-1, one, one. this is oh, Weaver, come in, over! There you go. It's our squad. This is Weaver, come in, over! Anything? Who got? Oh, God, yo! Yo, Weaver got... No! Bro, Weaver was the the guy w uh, with us on on the first one. Walker, show me Weaver. Wait, Walker? That's why they knew. Oh my God, this guy this guy was the the guy on the first one. Walker, what the hell are you doing? No way! So basically, that guy Walker on the first one was um was part of the ghosts, but he uh he didn't really betray. I mean, he did. I guess he did, but it's just he he got he got tired of um he got tired of like getting uh BS or orders from uh, the higher ups. So that's why he, um, yeah, that's why he went uh, AWOL. Man. Okay, well, that takes uh, the, uh, what's the word? Oh. Okay, there's two there. That takes the mystery out of the game as to, you know, what the hell or how the hell do they know it's us. What's this now? Oh, this is the, okay, this is the guys I, uh, okay. Alright, let's get these two. I know I'm supposed to go there, yes, but with a game like this where there's XP and stuff, Kill of the day. These guys eat shit. I don't know what everyone's worried about. You just better hope to God we kill them all. Okay. Didn't alert the other two. Oh. That's a lot of people. Oh my. Oh, 
Okay, so I guess the bodies don't disappear anymore. Because the, the first one, the Wildlands, if you kill them uh, from afar, um, they eventually disappear after like 30 seconds or so. So you can literally just snipe people from afar and then wait until you finish the whole camp, essentially. But with this one, it doesn't seem like the bodies disappear. And as you can see, they, the NPCs actually move around. So what that means is they're going to discover that body. Oh, this is not good. Alright. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop with your generic. Oh, no one's gonna survive that. Yeah, 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 sure, if you say so. Oh, Leah, that's a lot of boys. Okay, how do we do this, guys? Okay, so these are failed ghosts, basically. <laughs> They're not moving. You know what? Screw it. easy yeah I don't like this gun it's super inaccurate backpack full oh mk14 oh wow there's I have two guns now yes yes finally a sniper Yes, sir. What's in here? SVD. Hold on. SVD. Loadout. Uh, where's my... That skill is customized. What's this? Oh, PvP. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. Skill based matchmaking, sure. I wanna see my weapons. Where's my weapons? Oh, right here, loadout, okay. Uh, assault rifle. Can I change it to something else? Right here. Ooh. Designated marksman rifle. More range, less handling. Oh, this is a, a marksman rifle. Okay. Assault rifle. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay. Interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, there you go. Perfect. So there are skills. Oh, so there's assault. True grit, recall reduction, damage resistance. Okay, uh, basically, uh, attack, attack, um, attack class, healing drone, field medic, heals and revives teammates. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> there's no, there's no animation of them doing anything. They just stand up. Okay. Cloak and run. Disappear behind a smoke screen. Wait, how how is he seeing the other guys? Self use renders user undetectable by drones and enemy players. Oh, that's kind of um neat. Undetectable by drones. Armor Buster, what's this? High penetration bullets with bonus damage and muscle velocity. Woo. Oh, that guy's done. Echelon. Sonar vision to see enemies behind walls and mark them. Shock pistol. Silent damaging. Okay, so it stuns them. Bonus stealth in shadows. Higher damage with handguns. HDG can auto aim with the handgun during enemy visual detection. Oh. Longer breath while aiming, bonuses with sniper rifles and DMR. Hmm. Bonus stealth, faster movement speed. Ooh, I kinda want this one. Because suppressors on handgun and submachine guns do not reduce damage. But I also like this one, because I like using Sniper. And this one too. Oh man, there's so many choices. What's this now? Engineer. Supply drone. hand thrown device. Interact to get a magazine. Man, who cares about this guy? Bonus damage to drones. Bonuses with grenade launchers. Ugh. High altitude dr recon drone equipped with powerful tools. Oh. Oh, this is... Mm. So it's basically engineer, but with like a better drone. Find tactical cache using your recon drone and scout vision. Activate a high-tech white hot thermal vision. Okay, well that's not stealthy at all. This game is... A lot. It's all about stealth, you know? Sharpshooter. Mmm... Suppressors on handguns and submachine guns. Bonuses with sniper rifles and DMR. Launch device. Marks enemies in a large area. I kind of like this one. Oh, I have to use skill points to acquire it. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure yet. So... Let's just uh, hold on to that one for now, and then just keep doing the mission. I mean, I'm I'm basically still in the tutorial mode, anyways. All right, cutscene again. Mayday, Mayday! This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A Ooh. friend. I got the radio from a ghost. How do I know? This ghost still breathing? Ghost Lead, you can chase the white rabbit. <laughs> Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. That can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Ancient ruins? Understood. Go seat out. So we're basically in an island owned by some rich... By Elon Musk, essentially.
I want XP, so we're gonna get these guys. Uh, let's get... Okay, I need to get used to the guns. Wait, where's my minimap? Bro, my minimap disappeared. Huh? My minimap disappeared. Where where my minimap go? Huh? Div lore. What's a div lore? Oh, diversion lore. The same the same thing in the uh, first game. Wait, what's this now? Oh wow, there's trains! Oh wait, there's a highway! Oh wow! Road restricted, security forces only. Skeltech. Oh wow, look at this! So I guess I'm supposed to drive this? Sentinel core. Oh, now I see my minimap. Huh? Okay. Okay, hold on. That <laughs> Your squad leader can use the world parameters to change the composition of the world, allow you to live ex okay. Interesting. Drone presence. Uh, as Azrael petrol? What is Azrael? Wow. Wow, there's drones. Azrael patrols. Oh, that's a nice name, Azrael. Resistance. Let's just go with classic, yeah. Outcast trebles presence in Aurora. Resistance missions available. Uh, locks Azrael patrols frequency to none, making the mission Icarus Blues unavailable. Operation Sky, Amber Sky. Uh, spread poisonous gas over Aurora. Oh. Aurora's classic events. Well, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, settings and then teammates interface. Where's the map? Where's the map? Map, 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 HUD, 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 HUD maps, minimap, minimap. Always. There you go. I don't know why we, we would disappear when I'm just in the ground. That don't make sense, bruh. Uh oh. Hold on. My, I guess I'm supposed to shoot these guys? Easy. Reach the ancient ruins. Wait, I'm, I hear pigs. What's this now? Ooh. Ooh, 
I got money. I got the money. Wait, are there more stuff here? Nothing. Oh my god, again. Pressing M. To open the map, but you press it again. And it opens like that other quest thing instead of like closing the map. <laughs> wow. Which dev thought that was like, oh yeah, good idea. Wait, are we in? Where are we anyways? Which part of the world is this? Oh, pepper. Oh, nice. Wait, what's that for? Oh yeah, give me all them creds. Give me all them creds. Is there more stuff here? Why is there a question mark on this? Huh? Oh, there's a cave down there. Hold on, I, th I saw some some stuff here, like this one. Alliance. Alliance, or whatever that thing is. Oh, nice. Oh, I guess it's inside the cave. You see that, um... That icon? Yeah, that's a lot of boys. Oh wow, look at this. I don't have a drone. Okay, knowing Ubisoft, that thing means there's an event there. Wow. Oh, that's a big map. That is a big map. There's even a separate islands. Channel sinking country. Cape North. Oh wow. What's that? What's that volcano then? I'm looking at it. Right here, Cape North. Jeez. Alright, uh Drive it. What are those guys doing there? Ancient sacred site. Oh yeah? You only got three weeks and you're out of here? Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad that you encountered me then. Huh? Yeah. All normal over here. Nothing to see. Oh, he's inside the house. That's why he didn't hear it. Dead. Hostiles must be close. They must be. I don't know wherever they could be. I wonder where that hostile could be. I wonder where. Oh, there's loot. There's loot. Alright, okay. I like the game because of loot. 
Every time, I don't know, for us gamers, every time we loot, it's like we get like a, um, like a dopamine shot. You're like, ah, oh, ah, oh, loot. Hmm. What's the damage on this one? Is that one eight uh, fifteen? Right, that's the that's the damage fifteen. Okay. All right, open this. Get them loot. Oh, ho, ho. I'm getting so much of this credits thing. That's crazy. What's this now? Investigate. Oh, select an I an intel together. MP7, DMR small magazine. What's a bivouac? Uh, let's go with attachment. Yeah. Wait, should you automatically get it? Oh, it just tells you where it is. I see. What's this? Scopes? Buy from Maria shop. Buy from Maria shop. <laughs> it's all buy from her. Okay. Alright. Let's continue on. With our quest. Ah, they uh, gave me a car. How kind of them. This is a nice car. Ooh, ooh. Okay, the controls I think are a lot better than the first one. The first one, Wildlands, the control was it, it takes a few hours to get to used to uh, the driving. At least this one, now we can definitely feel the car is heavy. The first one, the car is like, it's so slidey. Like, it, it didn't feel like um, the car has weight at all. Okay, so so all the all the weapons have silencers. As you can see, look at that. But you can toggle it, you can remove it, look. See that? Yeah. It sucks that I don't have a drone anymore to scan enemies. I guess you need to. Nothing's alive after all that. Just keep looking. Our job is to find anyone who might have survived. We got hostiles in there. Yeah, we definitely got hostiles. What's up? Can, uh... Yeah. All right, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. There's loot. There's loot over there. You see that on the map? Where is it? Wow, it's down there. How do I go down there? Oh yeah, they really did a good job of the this this uh, this car. It feels heavy. It feels good. How do I 
I get in there? Is there a... Is there a cave somewhere? I'm looking for like a cave on the side of the... side of the road. Maybe it's like a, a hole in the ground? Maybe? I mean there's a thingy here. Hold on, hold on. I think I have to I have to be on the on the Okay. Ah, I see it. Yes. Ooh. Give me something good. Come on. Cargo pants. Oh, okay. You give me more armor, I think. Cave sites. All right, let's continue on. Oh, yeah. Very good. Very nice control on the car. Whoever did the, the controls for this car, uh, they need to make the guy do all the controls for the car from now on. Compared to the guy who did it on the first one. Or maybe it's the same guy and then he improved, I don't know. Three more armor. Let's go. Investigate, okay. Oh, okay. There's only one. Weapon localized. What's, what's that even mean? Localized. Maria shop. Mar They're all in Maria shop. What's this? Objective board. Oh, wow. Episode 1, 2, 3. There's only three episodes? Oh, man. We gotta get this guy. What a traitor. CEO Skeltec. Whoa. No date on this one. Amber Sky. Resistance. Investigations. Can I click this? Or the mass soldier who executed the ghost. Oh. Yeah, who are they? Well, we know for sure they're private military uh, hired by um, Skeltech, obviously. That wasn't even a question, Brett. I guess I have to go up here. Okay, so you gotta go to the question mark, because that's where the entrance is. Very nice. Ooh. LMG, now I don't, I'm not a big fan of LMG. Assault rifle with um, silencer is, uh, is really good though. Let's keep going. Oh, look at 
look at this place. Wow. Is this Milford Sound? If you guys know, don't know what that is, you should Google it. It's amazing. Milford Sound. What's up there? Bro, how am I gonna get up there? Ooh. Hold on, hold on. What is that? Just skull credits, scale credits, I'm guessing. Right? Yeah, it is. 1k. Bro, is everything here like in the millions? Because I'm getting like thousands of credits now. Yeah, I definitely like the controls of the car. Way better. Oh, they even have a helicopter for us. Yoink. Did I yoink that? Is there anything else here to yoink? What's that? No idea. Uh, let's see here the controls of the helicopter though. Is it still the same? Control and shift, yeah. Up and down. Oh wow. They start they start up pretty quick. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, let's look at the map then. Let's just go up and then go down. Oh wow, there's a snowy area. Wait, what's that? Is that a Mesa? You see that? Yeah, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, those are probably outposts or something that I'm supposed to do and then you get, you know, extra loot. Wow, so there's like an arid area, desert area, rocky area, forest area. We got, obviously here, we got that snowy area. We got plains area, we got islands. This, bro. <laughs> This island has it all. What kind of what kind of island is this? Okay, it's faster to go up than to go down. Which makes sense. Ooh, I broke the windows. Lol. <laughs> Look at the look at the car. Oh wow, they even they even rendered the uh, insides of the car. Look at that. Holy. All right. I don't know if I can trust this. Uh, what's her name? Maria or whatever. Ooh. Oh wow. Yo. Interesting. That scene. Stop right there. Who are you? I was invited. Bro, Who the hell this are girl you? looks like my Another first character. One. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. Erewhon? Now what's Erewhon? The cave. So we call it. Get in. Just call it the cave then. What's with a fancy name? Is my squad gonna be here? Mengnian One. Wait, who's that? Oh, wow! This is like a player hub. Oh, interesting. So, I play this game called Monster Hunter. And usually the game is single player, basically, but you can play co -op. But there is an area where if you go there, you can see other players. And during the peak time, uh, or the peak or the glory days of it when it was new, uh, there were so many players in the hub. Oh, what is this place? Wow. 
This reminds me of that um that cave in Vietnam where the cave is so big that you can fit like skyscrapers inside it. And not only that, um it, it's so big it's got its own like weather system. Like there will be like clouds in inside. Like it's crazy. Wow, okay. Um well, I can already see the downside of this one. First of all, yes, it's fun to be with other players. But number two, for people who likes to play the game solo, they won't be able to access this. Because I'm sure it requires you to be online. Alright, this is this one of the ghosts. Are you boys all right or what? Ooh. We're the only two left in our chalk. Oh no. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. I know, right? My mind's blown. Yeah. And they're friendly more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds. No clue. But there are definitely drones. hostiles out there. Those who are drones. Hanging with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. Who's this guy? Is it Arthur Morgan? You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aurora went dark. Now we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, her choppers were taken down. Uh-huh. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Wait, half? More than half? Best we can tell. There's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel. Oh, military Sentinel. contractors, they put this place under martial law. Using the old boot-in-the-neck technique to enforce it. Hmm. Skaltech is still making all the high-tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Oh, Not exactly kidding. the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. So they're making weapons. Where can of I find J. Skell? Military weapons uh, now. The head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. The drones. So you think he's huh. still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, Cassiar wounded. Yeah. That's nice that they're friendly. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. Which guy? I'll give you the guided tour. She looks familiar. She looks like Wanda. Wait, I wonder if... Uh... Oh, there's my friend. <laughs> right there. <laughs> no way. He's level 46? Bro, how much did this guy play this game? From farmer to freedom fighter. What do you think of that? We're supposed to play this game like together, you know? Like all of us bought the sa the game at the same time, like maybe three days ago. Yeah. Uh, there were, cause since it's like a four player co op, um, so there were four of us who bought the game. Um, this guy played the game first, cause I don't know, I can't wait. And then I'm the uh, I'm the guy who played the game next because I just wanted to record it and get through the tutorial stuff. And then there's another guy who hasn't even installed it. <laughs> yeah, we're that kind of friend group. 
you see this coming when Skell first showed up? All right, let me take a quick picture of this guy. I'ma say, hey, what's yo, bro? Like, really? All right. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, and you can invite them. You just walk up to them. Oh, because he's already my friend. That's why I can invite him. Where's my quest? Uh, let's Anything ex different since that broadcast went out? Let's ex Without explore this area. Uh huh. Join forces, sure. What's this? Rest in bivouac. Wait, what's a bivouac? What am I doing here? Ammo has been refilled. Huh? Each time you come to a bivouac, you can spend time doing an activity that will give you a temporary buff. I uh, can get one of the six types of buffs. Switch uh, between any of them at the same uh, any time in bivouac. Injury resistance, fatigue resistance, drone speed, stamina, accuracy. Oh, I see. So this is basically just a buff. Alright, let's go XP. I'm low level, so I'm gonna need all the XP I can get. So I can only have one. Oh, it's time cut time gated to 60 minutes. Well, that's pretty good. You can craft. Uh, you can use collected resources to craft items, offensive equipment, or rations. Uh, each recipe requires items from a specific category of resources. Click on a recipe to select it. Ah. I need common medicinal plants and then oh that's what that was okay very nice how about C4 explosive materials explosive materials and metal parts it's just explosive no way pepper <laughs> no freaking way pepper really Oh, that's so funny. Pepper. Oh, rations. Oh. Consume to gain temporary buff. Oh, for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. Oh. I wonder if you can stack these buffs. Injury resistance, handling, damage resistance. Interesting, interesting. Shop. Buy. Man, these 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 can suck. Oh wow, wolf armor. You can buy vehicles? No way. Yeah, I don't know if I want to buy vehicles though. 20k, why is that 20k? Gunship? Oh wow, look at that. Alright, uh, attachments, yes, now this is where it... That's a lot of attachments, bro. But I think you can just buy it once and then you can just like use use the attachment ear skins. Black arrow. Mm. Oh, I kinda like that. Hills pants. Harness. 
strap chest. Ooh, that's nice. Coggles, aviator. Oh, this one is nice. Look at that. Ooh, yo. Okay, okay. What's this? Patches? Melee weapons? Wait, how do you even use melee weapons? The tutorial didn't really tell me. Walker. Paints and camos. We got banner cards. We got emblems and then emotes. Okay. And last but not the least, garage. Uh, own vehicle that they own. The team can ask for one vehicle. Last one selected is a team's vehicle and can be found near the bivouac. Yeah. Six seats. That's a lot of seats. Yeah, let's use this one. I don't have any other. <laughs> so I don't have like. I don't have a car, I don't have a motorcycle, but I have a freaking helicopter. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, um... Objectives? Operation Greenstone. Talk to the wounded survivor. Adventure Brothers in Arms. Yeah, we gotta get this guy, bro. this now? Huh? Oh, okay, I can see. I see, I see where the damage is now, right there. See, under the, under the word recoil. This damage is 40, 45, 45, 25. This guy's damage is 20 per hit. This guy's 40 per hit. 45 per hit. Well, wow, that's a marksman weapon for you. Oh, because these are marksman rifle. Assault rifle, there you go. Now this much more, make, makes more much... Makes more sense. Um... The reload time is 3 seconds. Is that why... Is that why this is worse? But it's got 5 more damage, more accuracy. Uh, a little bit more range. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's fine, I guess. I kind of like that one. So how do I salvage weapons? Oh, X. Dismantle. Give me those parts. Ooh, give me those parts. Easy. Can I exit now? How do I how do I get out? Right now. Alright. Okay, so that was the bivouac, which is a camp essentially. And that's where you uh ready for this fight? You get a lot a lot of your stuff. Shop? Dr. Maria Schulz. You ready oh. for your personal tour of Erewhon? Yeah, okay. Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. Haha, <laughs> 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 very funny. Bang, bang! <laughs> sure. Now the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? Yeah, who are the these kids? The bees nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. Yeah? It puts these kids at risk. 
Wait, okay. And my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. Oh, he's a patriot. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. I really think... You and your troops can bivouac over there. She's Wanda. If you really get to feel froggy, Bivouac. Okay. you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. What's a he Kiwi likes scouting SAS? around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Ooh, so Rowan hunting. Rowan likes picking fights with them. Hunting missions. Okay. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. Mm -hmm. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. Another island? So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. Let's hope so. Give me a better give me a better you deal then. Yourself doing this. Give me a better deal and I'll uh Wow, I just look at this guy. Pink weapons. Wait, what's my name? How do I check what my name is? Is it still the cringy ass darkness? So cringe, bro. Halt. Hey, Halt. What's hey. up? How are you, man? How are you? Nomad. Who's left? Who Defin made it? Definitely not Weaver. Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. I know I am. <sighs> What's this? Oh, is that a drone? Here. Is that a drone? Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. But Weaver. He's gone. Yep. It was Walker, bro. You just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, alright? It the wasp. was Walker. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Matt Schultz, the big guy. Mm hmm. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. How rude. Go. Why not just say thanks? You think this was how things so were the gonna broadcast go having any effect? Some outcasts loaded me up with gear. I think they're looking for an alliance. New mission, right from the top, at uh, the top, what? Missing in action. No way out. Wow, that's a lot of quests, bro. Check on hold. What's up? I know we just talked, but... How's it going? I'm good. But listen, I need to show you something. <laughs> that was Over quick. there on the table. Who's this now? Recognize him? Yeah, his name is Victor Cost. He's old school black ops. Mm -hmm. My guess is he's here with the CIA. Well, if he is a mole, then he might be able to help us. From what I can tell, his location is somewhere near the channels. Ooh, CIA. You might want to start by looking there. I'll head over and see what I can dig up. This was a good find. Glad I can help, even if I am all dinged up. Huh. Ghost Recon Lake Point, Episode 2 Adventure. Huh? Point away off the island. Uh, use the radio to access new missions. Okay. Also, you can press tab to see your mission. Very nice. Uh, that's a PvP ghost war. That's the bivouac. 
What was this again? Let's talk to this guy. What was this? Hello, stranger. Ooh, horn of plenty. That's a hell of a rig you got there. Yeah, yeah. what is this? It's a beaut, ain't she? This is just a little maintenance work. But yeah, we oh, managed this is... to set up a system of hydropower with parts printed by the 3D lab. You printed the parts? Pretty mm -hmm. wild, huh? You should see the stuff Startup was putting together. Hell, they could print much larger designs. Complex machinery, working parts, those kind of things. Ooh. This tech was invented to make the world accessible to everyone. When Sentinel took over the island, they started printing parts for their deadly drones. It ain't uh, right. Again I with see. this? Look, we already know how you feel. When I saw what they were doing with the program, I left. And joined up with the homesteaders. But hey, if you're interested, why not check out the startup? Where's it at? It's called uh, Polymorph Modeling. It's down in the southeastern part Polymorph of Smuggler Cubs, west of the swamp. I appreciate it. See you around. You know the funny thing is? It's probably what's happening in the real world as well. What I mean is that um, technologies, like like inventors would, you know, build technologies to make everyone's life better, but then it get it gets taken over by uh, you know by big companies, and all they want is money. And you know what pays? That's right, war. Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, there are so many quests, bro. Oh, here we go. Nomad, Scott Mitchell here. Sir, good to hear your voice. Ah, finally. I've seen the reports of your activity on Aroa. Good work. Thank you. The conspiracy is degraded. But FSB has told us that Stone has aligned himself with a group of Russian ultra-nationalists. What? They have a stockpile of chemical weapons. We believe they intend to use the drone technology to conduct a coordinated uh -oh. terrorist attack against the U.S. Ooh. Millions of American lives could be at stake. Ooh. You're going to have to dismantle this new organization by eliminating their top leadership. Stone okay. is the highest priority. Stone? I'm sending you an updated target deck with the HVTs. This comes all the way from the top, my friend. But with Congress and all eyes on us, can't send support. Yikes. Well, Copy we are answer. ghosts for, for a reason. Do. We're counting on you, Nomad. Why is he so laggy? Good luck. Well, was that really the uh, video? Mission accepted. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm gonna... Oh, final target is Trace Town. Check this board. Oh. Still locked. Reach uh Broughton Channel Bivois. You ever think we'd end up by introduction of okay. Oh the, these guys have introductions right here. Scott Mitchell. Objectives board. Uh, how do I? Yeah, I know he's the final target, but can I focus on mission episode one? Yeah, yeah. I want. I want to focus. Oh, you can. Interesting. Yeah, I want to focus on episode one, bro. What the heck? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Wow. See, that, that no wonder that was confusing, cause um, we we kind of jumped from like this one. You know, find figuring out what's going on on the island to like suddenly this one. Like, who the hell are these guys? <laughs> what? <laughs> that don't make sense, bro. I see. Well, I, I don't think I like that. They should have locked episode two and three, so it's less confusing for new players. 
Imagine like not reading, you know, because you just want to shoot things, right? And then you go in here, and then you you, you 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 do quests here, you do quests here, and then you do quests here, and you're like, where the hell am I in the storyline? Collect clue. Ask Majules about the origins of that. You know what? Let's go with this one and then put it under here. Replace, yes. Alright, where's Mad Shoals? Where's Mad Shoals? Wait. Where's the war room? He showed me earlier where the war room is. Oh, it's right there. Hold on. So there's this thing. Oh, yo, I like this table. Look at that. That's a nice table. With like a fire in the middle. Oh, that is nice. Look at that. Okay. Tripod legend. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this guy. Um, no way out. Episode 1. Alright, let's go. How's your pal? Hold it up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Mm -hmm. Heard he was an operator. You know him? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Not just yeah. a couple of times, he's a ghost. Yeah, we met a couple or times. was. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's him. He was in uh, Wildlands too. He was actually pretty good. Like he really cared for his team. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? Know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. Wait, is this Australia? It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mats. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there... I can come back here with some help. The wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. Mm, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... What's a jarhead? What's a squid? What are these military terms? Look. I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. Sure. We'll protect him. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. Nice. I'm gonna come back with the Iron Man. Leave Air, Air One. 
That's an interesting name, Erwan. You heard from Samuel? Not since last week. What's I'm this sure now? everything. Hi. Don't be afraid. Episode one said couldn't help but over here. Okay. There's some kind of problem. We're not sure. Our friend Samuel's missing. A homesteader. It used to be. Before he decided he'd rather live by himself. No great loss, if you ask me. He likes catching his own food. Says it keeps him closer oh, to nature. Oh, he's a hipster. Something like that. And then he gives the furs and leftover meat to the camp. Never takes anything in return. I don't get it. Sounds like he knows how to take care of himself. Last week, he was down here hollering about running into a bunch of sentinels on his land. Uh oh. They said they carried away a couple of deer he caught, smashed up his traps, and then this week, he's nothing. gone. Yep. I Samuel's knew it. always had a temper, but in this place, these days, you say the wrong thing to the wrong person, and you're gone. Well, you know. Yeah, I know. Hey, where are his usual stomping grounds? He's typically around to the southeast of Garden Mangrove. Northeastern part of Gyarong. I'll see if Gyarong. I can find him. Thanks. Many thanks, stranger. Ooh. Pin this to... Locate okay, Samuel. Ah. Faction leader, what's up? Faction missions. Teammates progression. Oh. Playing with at least one non-player teammate in your squad makes uh, teammates stronger. They gain XP alongside you, increase your global team level. Teammates upgrade. Increasing, increasing your team level unlocks new passive and abilities for. Okay, so you gotta play with the uh, NPCs. Change your teammates gear, change your teammates weapon, give orders from the order wheel. Uh, so how do I... No teammate? That's not good. How do I get a teammate? Activate them. Oh, nice. Okay, how do I change a teammate? Uh, I, I get it, I get the, the idea. But how do I get a teammate? I don't have a teammate. I guess I still have to do more missions, huh? Ask Mad Schultz about the origin of... Okay. It's this guy, right? Discuss. Okay, what's your background, bro? You don't look like Skeltech employees. No. I used to be a Marine at the Naval Station here. Mm. Some of the folks you see, like Maria, my old lady, they lived on the station with their families. When the Navy shut the place down in the 90s, a few of us stayed and homesteaded. We ah, worked that's a long why time to make a place for ourselves on Aroa. And now you're in Sentinel's way. Most of my people are holing up here for now. I ain't been home in a dog's age, but I'll stand by any man or woman in green. You soldiers can stay as long as you don't cause trouble. And you lend a hand. We nice. appreciate it. A true patriot. Very nice. It'd be a pretty island, without all the military contractors and killer drones. Used to be. I'd get some leave and just walk. I'd spend whole weeks just walking around with a pack on my shoulder. Yeah, I'm probably getting my share of sightseeing. These islands have changed hands so much it's like a time capsule. I keep telling myself one Wait, day what's wrong with the I'll voice? get back out there, just see it all again before I'm too lowered. To the trip. Then again, who knows how far I'd get now. Uh, how was this created? Lucky you found this place. Rowan Brown knew about this place for a while. We figured sacred ground always makes good sanctuary. It's pretty damp, though. It's still a work in progress, all right? Makes We've sense. We've managed sacred to stay under ground. the radar so far. There's a the reason why there's sacred people, guns. A bunch of Skeltech employees. I don't think you've got room to complain. 
Hey, I'm not complaining. This place is great. Oh, this place is nice. I like it. I'll talk to you later. See ya. So did that complete the quest? Here are the clues you've collected. Click here to resolve the investigation. Oh, and then you get XP. Wow. So these are like side quests. Um, complete mission, the enemy of my enemy. Okay. Ask Haruhi Ito. In the South Cape Station, is Milo still alive? Unlock and complete the side mission, a soul in rest. Okay, who betrayed the ghosts? Unlock and complete Operation Greenstone mission, enemy of my enemy. Greenstone mission. That's Spec Ops, okay. PvP Ghost War, I don't, I don't want that. Faction mission. That's a lot of faction mission. Oh, so it gives you XP, some credits, and then a weapon. Oh, nice. So you can, uh, you can actually, so you can do a story mission and you know unlock all these things, or you can do a side mission. And there's even a uh, what's this operation Amber Sky? Live events. Oh, but it says... Oh, the event parameter. Okay. Resistance. Same with this one. You need to unlock the resistance. Um. Hmm. Complete... Strike a missile on. How about this one? Under barrel shotgun. Mounted magazine fed shotgun. <laughs> okay, well, I, I kind of want this one. This looks way better. Long road to victory. Okay. Recommended level 120? Oh my gee. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Okay. Alright, so what's my quest now? So, leave... Okay, let's leave here for now. That's the bivouac, that's the shop, okay. There's one last thing I need to... Any stocks from the outcasts. If you see someone sick, give them a hand. But make sure you do it in a way that's sanitary. Oh, raids, that's what she is. She deals with raids. What's raids? Oh... Project Titan can only be played with four players. I don't have the gear. Ooh. I, it's basically the game's t way of telling you get a, get good scrub. So how do I get out of here? Oh, this is a nice place. Hold on. How do I get out of here? Okay, I think we've seen everything here. And there's my friend here, as you can see. My boy's level 46. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? We said we'll play this game together, bro. And he basically just played by himself. Amazing. Anyways, let's go out and then see if uh, there's any changes in the world or whatever. But this is a nice place. Oh, look at that. Imagine if instead in real, in real life, real world, it, it just becomes a resort instead, <laughs> you know? Man, environmentalists would be reeling. 
make a bunch of buildings inside the uh, the cave. All right. Ooh, you know, I thought she would be like one of the main characters. Cause look at her, she's got a unique um, look. But this guy is just it's like every other NPCs. All right. After I cross this passage, I am now in single player mode. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I can adjust it. Uh, you cannot choose to be guided when tracking your objective. In guided mode, objectives are indicated on your map and on the HUD. I like that. Not guided mode, you have to use your missions, location, clues. Yeah, why would I do that? No, I want guided. What's exploration mode? Oh, that's the... Okay, the thing. Okay. Lol. <sighs> I think this was how things were going. Here to back you up. We're going Sentinel. Alright. Hold on. Immersive skin weapons bundles announcement. Ooh. Ooh, store. You can get this in game, but you can also just pay 300 and then you get it right away. Lightest in class, converted ASR, damage trade off, prestige, skins bundle. Wow. Vertical foregrip. Oh my gee. Wait. Oh, I don't have coins. These are real money. Yes. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Just wow. See, but at least you can get it in-game. Also obtain um, skill, skill credits, I guess, to acquire this weapon from Maria shop. Yeah. Is it this one? Oh yeah, look at that. 25 damage. Assault rifle and an old favorite of the ghosts. Let's right. go. Very nice. So do I get a squad? No way. Is this my squad? Oh, these are my squad. Look at that. Oh, wow. They're fully equipped. Giat. Okay, I guess I have to take that heli. Wait, why do I have to take that when I, when I have my own? I guess. Okay, hold on, operation. Oh my god, two hours. Okay. Alright, I think I will end the um, the recording here. I think I've, uh, that should be good enough for a first look. Um, yeah, so far I really like the game. I played the first one, especially with friends. And I'm definitely gonna play this one with friends as well. And even the one of our friends already is level 46 for some reason. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the, the, the shooting is good. Um, I'm, I'm guessing it's because my first gun is um, doesn't really have a lot of like attachments. Uh, let, me, let me get down here. All right, there you go. Uh, I'm assuming it's because the, the, the very first gun I have didn't have like a lot of attachments. That's why the aiming is a little weird. It's like the recoil is just crazy like i would headshot one guy and then i would just move my mouse to the right but the cursor is like way up there so it's easy to miss the uh the enemy but the movement is great the stealth is great i like how when you're in the bush you know you uh you become harder to detect that's that's like an assassin screen as assassin screen thing you know um, and you can even uh, go into prone mode and cover yourself in mud. Oh, that that is amazing. Um, the story missions, though, I'm not sure if I like the 
the fact that you can like right here that you can like jump episodes so I mean I guess it makes sense if it's like like a real life kind of thing so you can just choose which mission but man this is a game you know like let us let us do mission episode one first maybe there's like a completion percentage let's say you completed it like 60 percent and then it should unlock episode two and then it should unlock episode three because i have no idea who these people are or where this is in the storyline you know and i have no idea what this is even <laughs> ghost recon covert missions so interesting but anyway so far so far it's good i like the uh, combat um the guns are pretty good i like how they're all they all have like a suppressor right away in the first game you actually have to look for suppressors and that was kind of annoying uh, this one all of them has it and you can just remove and uh, add or remove them so um, overall pretty good start of the game and i will definitely keep playing this game all right well if you guys like the video you know what to do Give me a like and sub, really helps the channel and I'll appreciate it. Anyways, thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.